This week I put out a lot of videos that uh, showed a side of me people probably haven't seen before. Getting really fired up about uh, political issues, healthcare, etc. Um, got a lot of emails, a lot of uh, phone calls, a lot of text messages, Facebook posts. A lot of people responding, uh, both positively and, of course, negatively. I just wanted to uh, put this video out today to give thanks. You saw a side of me probably you haven't seen before. Uh, I got pretty fired up. There was some anger, some, some even um, kind of giving up, you know, kind of, kind of accepting that uh, you can't always get what you want and life is totally unfair. Uh, today, I just, you know, being Sunday, I wanted to change it up a little bit and uh, do a video where I give thanks because, you know, in a lot of respects, I'm very happy about where I am in my life. Yeah, not, and not everything's perfect, but, you know, I've got things that I did not have in the past, and I'm very happy for that. And the, the biggest thing is supporters, people who love me, people who um, are true friends, friendship. You know, that that's... I've been really touched this year and I really appreciate it and I want everyone out there to know and especially the people that uh, I appreciate the most I want them to know that I really do uh, thank them for being in my life and being here and all that they do for the world the first thing I wanted to do is uh, thank God thank that how higher power funny uh, I just wanted to thank the higher power God up there and uh, I'm sitting in my, you know, out, out back of my condo building, only eight units. And uh, who walks up behind me? It's a, it's a nun in full habit, you know, in her full gear on a Sunday. So, uh, you know, there's always signs out there. I always, I always look for them and see them. And uh, it's just a perfect sign. No one ever comes back here. And, and uh, I just had to stop the video because, you know, I had to let a nun into my building, which is the first time I've ever seen that. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, whether you believe in God or not, you know that's good by me. I, I'm not uh, preaching. I just not af not afraid to admit it, and uh, want everyone to know that that's that's where I stand. Love or hate me, that's where I'm at. Um, but the big thing today is I want to thank the people out there. Uh, my number one supporter, friend, the love of my life, uh, Carmelita. Number one, I want to thank her. She's we we definitely don't agree on most of our politics, but. She's really a good friend, despite all of that. Um, I also wanted to thank uh, Nikki and Tommy from Free Mass Media. You see the videos they put out. Uh, good friends, good supporters. Uh, you know, they, they really funded our show yesterday. You know, I, I know that they are not uh, fully financially supported themselves. And for them to give us contributions and support our show, it's really appreciated. I, I, uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the work that, that the two of them have done, the contributions they've given, uh, and the support that they give me. Good friends. Um, also, obviously, I've, I've talked a lot about them is uh, Mike and Valerie from uh, thekingofpot.com and KOP Productions. I, you could say the same thing about those two really good friends. The King of Pot is uh, Michael Malta. He's, he's my best friend, so I, I'm, I'm really happy that... Uh, I have that friendship that I didn't have a few years ago. You know, it's it's really important to me, so I want to give thanks for that. Um, Rich Fu at KLP Productions, he's got his new show. He, he's a good friend, too, and I really appreciate having him in my life. You know, some of these people, a few years ago, I, I might have known them, but I wasn't that close to them. So it's, uh, it's a really, I, I really feel good because I have a lot of these friends, and I have a list that just, it's so long, and I know I didn't even get to half the people. So if I miss you, I'm sorry, and I'll try to get you next time. Hit me up privately and just remind me that uh, I missed you because there's so many of you out there, and I know I'm missing people. And I, I just, I just want to keep in touch with all the people that are following me, my friends, my supporters, people that love me, because that's really what's important about life. Um, Judy Bunn, CJ and Judy Bunn, but Judy Bunn, I, I talked to her on Facebook. I, I love Judy Bunn; she's awesome. Long time uh, Mascan board member. Um, some supporters of the show, Spencer, Esteban, Hugh Manny Moda, uh, Red Blazer, Glenn Prescott, good dude. Uh, Heather Mack, obviously my co-host on Two Hotheads. She has to put up with my, put up with me every week, so God bless her. Uh, Mike Newman, who put up with me for a long time on the show as our producer. Thank Newman for all the work that he did. 
Uh, Derek Freire, who is the new Two Hot Heads, Where Activism Happens producer, I want to thank him. Uh, Sarah Sparks for taking the best pictures of me and being a good friend over, over a period of time. I'm really glad that uh, Sarah Sparks is a friend of mine. Um, Eric Wunderlich is another one. Uh, man, that guy has a lot of passion, and, and I really want to wish him the best because he, his heart is in the right place. He's a lot of passion. He's very generous. He's a great person, and I love Eric Wunderlich. Um, unregularradio.com, uh, John Loftus, Matt Lax, Dave Crespo, and uh, of course, Deck Tur, I, you know, and everyone at the station. I, I just, uh, Unregular Radio is a great place, you know, every week going in there, you got Max Bowen show after me, it's, uh, Citywide Blackout, uh, just, it's a good crew over there, I love going in there, so I appreciate the station on Regular Radio. Um, some other activists, John Leonard, who, uh, who, you know, running one of the campaigns to collect signatures for marijuana legalization in mass right now for the public policy questions. He's a longtime activist, been around before I was. When I first started, he was one of the first people I met in the movement, and uh, I'm glad to have him as a friend. Thank you, John Lennon, for all the work that you do. Um, Scott Madeline, from uh, he, he's he's the Alston Board of Trade president. He's another good friend. I'm glad that I have him in my life. Uh, Scott Madeline's definitely a positive influence, someone that will help people. He goes out of his way to help people. Sometimes he's too generous. Um, I really love Scott Madeline. He's a great dude. Uh, check out Stingray Body Art. That's his his shop. And uh, glad to have Scott Madeline in my life. John Leonard, I said, uh, Toby Greer. Toby Greer. Toby Tiger Heart Greer. Champion. You know? He, he represents us all. Uh, he's a gym owner. He, he, he creates warriors every single day. I love Toby Greer. Uh, Norman Bai. He, he, he's someone that's actively... Uh, fighting for our rights, Western Mass. I, I love Norman. Thank you, Norman. Uh, detention. Yeah, if you don't know detention, look him up. He's a man. Uh, a politician. I'm going to call out right now. Uh, he, I, you know, as you know, I don't agree with this politician and a lot of her her stances. But you know what? She's a good friend, and I really love this woman. And I would vote for her just because of who she is. Uh, Main State Diane Russell, uh, Main State Rep Diane Russell. That lady rules. I love Diane Russell, and I and I want to thank her for advice, support. She's she's a great person. Uh, Jen Spanks, known her for a long time. Love you, Jen Spanks. Thank you, uh, Mr. DL, and of course, uh, if I say DL, I gotta say the other big smoking champ, DJ Slim. Good, you know, two good uh, artists and uh, friends. I I really. Love the friendship with those two guys. DJ Slim, it's like uh, when we when we get together, it's like what we say is Batman and Robin. And some people say, who's Batman and who's Robin? And it's like, who knows? It depends on the situation where we, we trade off sometimes. Uh, who else? Let's go. Oh, of course. Dave Tree. You know Dave Tree. Dave Tree is the man. I love Dave Tree. Um, Michelle Fahey, someone uh, I met through uh, the Liberty and, and Ron Paul. I like Michelle Fahey. She's a great person, great activist. Uh, Valerie Vandepan, you know her. She used to uh, write for High Times, writes for uh, Boston Globe at Times, some other websites. She's a great writer, great person. I love her. Uh, Bobby Nuggs, you know Bobby Nuggs from Relief Magazine, another great person. Uh, oh, the guys at High Times, Danny Danko, Bobby Black, Rick Cusick. Mad respect and love for those guys. Um, some local activists, Frank Capone and Garrett Kirkland. Good to good to uh, have them as colleagues in the, in the Liberty Movement. Patrick Wilson with Occupy Boston. Uh, politicians, more politicians actually. Uh, Gary Johnson, Governor Gary Johnson. Ron Paul, Congressman Ron Paul. Uh, Congressman Barney Frank. C Money. He's he's not a, he's not a politician. He's a musician with uh, slightly stupid. I, I have mad respect for C Money. Uh, another musician, so speaking of musicians, local musician that I have a little man crush on. I've admitted it in the past. He recently just sent me a little uh, a Facebook message, and uh, I really respect this guy. I've heard him a lot of different interviews, read. Um, I love his music. Uh, I wish I could be more like him sometimes, I think. <laughs> Will Daly. Will Daly. He's, he's just such a nice guy. Uh, Will Daly. Check out his music. Um, another guy, uh, Red Blazer, Glenn Prescott, good friend. Uh, Love, love Red Blazer. Um, there's a few more, you know, um, mus musicians, Prospect Hill. Those are my boys from way back. You know, we, we, I feel like we came up together. You know, it's like, uh, 
things have really taken off for, for both myself and especially Prospect Hill. Adam Fitty and the lead singer, one of the best dudes around. Um, I also want to Teresa Busin Clay. She's been someone that's been supporting me for years. I really uh, like her and appreciate her on Facebook. Known her since the MySpace days. Uh, also, uh, someone that's no longer alive, I want to shout out is uh, Peter McWilliams. Written his work. His words still inspire me, and uh, they're still making change. They, they they affected my heart, and and I take I take wisdom from the words that he wrote, and actually follow through. Follow, you know, some some sometimes in my life I, I need some direction. And uh, Peter McWilliams often does provide that direction and inspiration that I need. Another person, another two people actually, a couple they, that uh, inspire me quite a bit is uh, Mark and Jody Emery. Really, uh, you know, Mark Emery, just with the activism and, and being in, in jail over it right now. You, I don't, you know, he, th there is no higher in many respects much than Mark Emery and, and his wife Jody Emery. I mean, that woman is just so amazing. She's so talented. She's such a great speaker. Glad to have her in the marijuana legalization movement. Um, some other local folks, Lisa Boston. She's always a big supporter. Sissy O'Day, and uh, oh, some talk show hosts. Dan Ray on WBZ Nightside. Always love Dan Ray. He's a good dude. Bradley J who fills in for him. He's another great, great guy. Um, I just want to give thanks, you know? I'm so thankful. I didn't even get to half the people on my list, and uh, this video has been going on over 10 minutes, so you get the idea. Um, if I missed you, I'm sorry. I'll get you next time, and, and know that I, I really do thank all the people out there, all the support that I get. Um, you know, I'm just, I am very thankful today on this Sunday, so just want to let everyone know that, and uh, tell everyone to keep their head up. I know, I know sometimes things get tough, and uh, it's easy to give up, and it's all right to go for that for a moment. You know, sometimes we need to let off steam, but in the end, every moment that I have here, I I'm giving thanks, and I'm, I'm very thankful, especially for the people and the actions that they take every single day. You know, when you when you give out love to other people, when you when you uh, do positive things for the world, there is no higher thing that you can do. And uh, I just want to thank the folks that I've been touched by that have helped me open up my heart more. Thank you.